Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of the Battle Brothers Fight Guide about legendary locations, the Goblin City. Goblin City comes with the base game, along with the Black Monolith, but there are many more in DLCs. So, this is a live thing. First thing about Goblin City is you attack it, and then uh, you'll walk up to the location and rule Gahix. The name always stays the same, so it's this one. And then it'll say, uh, kill five outposts or ten uh, rando goblin parties. Do that come back next is you want to come at it from a good location if you don't know about it brothers like if I cut if I'm on like a hill here let's say it was right here if I approach it from this side I might get low ground but if I approach it from the mountain here I might be on high ground like the way you approach it actually matters or a hill here if I approach it from this side and if it's like right here on my cursor the top right it might be on low ground but if I approach it from this hill I might be on even ground or high ground so I want to come from like up here because that looks like the highest ground now I actually want to fight this uh, during the day on the off chance we get on high ground yeah okay so 43 goblins the number of goblins always stays the same I believe it's three shamans uh, two overseers this is gonna just gonna be live going through it so there's no like real tips in the beginning you just gonna have to watch the whole thing so I think it's three shamans two overseers the overseers are annoying um the shamans are the real problem so we're doing the patented um two four four two formation the this formation what it does is it hopefully blocks off the amount of people that can get rooted if you have anybody with over a hundred initiative i strongly recommend bringing them if you have someone with impatient, I strongly recommend bringing them too. And you put them in the four group. So what we're going to see here is the shaman rooting those two. Great. Okay. Uh, if I get a turn, I guess it's three overseers. Okay. So these roots have to be next to people. You can root up to like five people. But here, if you root these guys, you can only root them, you can only root them. He's got a go the goblin uh, trophy, so these three would get rooted, and then these four would get rooted. So it limits the amount of people with roots. If you have um, anyone with impatient, you have them walk forward one, or have them walk back one, and then they will not be able to get rooted. The shamans have a hundred initiative, I want to say. I, I don't like no goblin initiative, but I believe it's a hundred. So if you have someone with like a hundred and three, whether that's through hyena pelt or whatever the fuck else then um they will be able to go first as well what do we have right here we have 75 75 he maybe could have gone i think he has like 89 or something without the uh the shield here recommend bringing shields on your front line um just to soak up all the hits especially for goblin poison you don't want to get goblin poison because then you'll be out of the fight and this is a numbers game i recommend not bringing any two-handers um, this two-hander right here is he's just like my beefiest one i'd bring another hybrid but i just don't have any right now in uh this stage of the campaign because he breaking roots costs uh four ap so he can't attack and break roots so he's gonna be a root breaker i brought him just because he's like a chad with the hit points and he has like 50 something melee defense um so priority is these guys are gonna crossbow the fucking shaman the shamans need to die. Um, we want to kill these guys. We want to keep this high ground right here. Luckily, we spawned on high ground. If we spawned on low ground, um, we're fucked. <laughs> this is like horrible, horrible on low ground. If we're on even terrain, this could still be doable. You just want you actually just want to rush the shamans. This guy, we're sending him north. These two are going to be sent north. And then they're just going to be a fucking blocker unit for all of these goblins right here. 32 goblins, I think it's 31 units, can spawn here on the right. So that's, what, 12 up here? So if this guy can block 12, I brought two. I have two guys here. He might just run up and tank these guys, but if I can get 12 units here, there's a shaman. I believe there's an overseer over there as well. That would be really helpful. All right, so we're going to pass. Um, We're going to hit that goblin. believe everyone, they've all acted. No, not quite. Um, We're done. We're going to pass. Uh, we're probably actually going to pass again because we want to get higher chances to hit. 
All right, we're gonna break free, break free. We're gonna pass. I think I'm gonna have everyone just pass a little bit because that way these other goblins, I don't like, they all have quick hands. So these skirmishers could just um, quick hands into bolas and hit me. The ambushers could hit me. I'm just playing smart right now. Okay. Probably want to take... What do you have? You just have... You have this weapon right here. Don't necessarily need the banner. Don't necessarily need to disarm. Um... We could probably... We could disarm the, uh... Wolf Rider right here. Just want to note... This is made after a patch on January 13th. Disarm, now with mastery, is a minus 10% chance to hit. Without mastery, it's um, minus 20% chance to hit with the whip. Dif yeah. Um, and disarm is now 30 stam instead of 25. So disarm got a huge nerf, which is uh, quite, quite annoying. Alright, so... I said I was going to move up, but I want to be able to reload my fucking crossbow. So we're not going to move up. Um, we do have Pathfinder here. If we can kill that shaman, that's fucking huge. Reload the crossbow. Alright, take that high ground right there. We are going to run straight in. We could actually, even though I'm taking low ground, if I knock out an overseer, that's good. That's an overseer that's not acting. Um, do I want to run this guy in? Potentially. He can zone of control some dudes over here. Alright, you have 9 AP. Um, we're just going to rush the shaman, I think. Is what we, that's what we said. We're going to go here. We didn't quite get a kill, so we don't do anything else. Alright. So, we took one Shaman out, which is huge. That's, um... The Overseers are really annoying, but with Kite Shields and additional Fur Padding, uh, this... They're not gonna do that much. If anything, this... When you have 43 Goblins to start with, and you start slaughtering them, their morale's gonna break, so the Overseers might just start turning into morale machines in which case uh it's really not that scary they're not that scary um wolf riders are going to be scary we're going to need to kill these wolf riders so the hybrids can kill the shamans you could bring bows you could absolutely bring bows that's not an issue i just prefer crossbows i think crossbows are going to be more useful because if you hit you're going to do a lot more damage um yeah, I didn't think that would really work. It clearly didn't. That's fine. If anything, we could just rotate him out. Because um, the number one priority right now is actually to kill this shaman. Okay, I don't like getting fucking punctured by this dumbass who I already hit. Alright. Uh, fighting axes are good for breaking shields. It's because you don't want to have goblins be alive. But let's see. Let's see what the shaman does. He got insect swarmed. That's um, normally horrible. But insect insect swarming. Okay. This is pretty good. Insect swarming dudes who um, like mammoths. You don't care because they can just start taunting. Does insect swarm lower melee defense? I'm not sure it does. I think it might. Uh, um, it does. So that's a problem. But uh, I think we're actually okay with this. Okay. We don't like dying. Let's put it like this. Um, as long as your guy doesn't die, you actually don't care how much HP damage he takes because you're not taking a fight immediately after this, right? You're not going to go into a legendary location and think, oh, let's take this break and camp right after. So, yes, I don't like taking a crossbow to the fucking head. But he only needs one HP to live this fight, so I'm not entirely worried. Like, we don't have to go into something immediately after this. I mean, we'll sub our other team in. If you're in a, a lone wolf, I guess make sure you don't get as many hits. But, uh, we'll see. Gonna pass. 
We're going to walk up, get that higher chance to hit, and we're going to miss. Failed our 92 is really bad. Um, I actually prefer that location right there. Alright, that is good. We're going to taunt here. And then we're going to probably pass. Definitely need to break out of the roots. Um, just going to break the shield. That's the smartest. Um, let's pass again. Break the roots. Miss. That sucks. Didn't quite get that break. That's obnoxious. Not obnoxious, that just kind of sucks, I guess. Alright, we want to save our crossbow. So we're just going to bill hook this idiot. Um, let's see what happens. Here. Let's taunt that guy so we don't hit the dude with the puncture. And we could walk... What's a more important ability? Probably walking here. Okay. Now waiting for 39 goblins to act. I remember that that idiot's there, but he's not an issue right now. We need to kill this shaman. We can't just afford to get more people... We haven't lost anyone important to insect swarm right now. He honestly should have brought a shield. Um, since I'm doing this live, I didn't. I'm not gonna like redo the fight, but he should probably just bring a shield and become another, I like, guess, pseudo tank. If you have two handers, especially going to the indom, that could work. Um, we have the reloaded crossbow. That's huge, so we can get that kill. Um, once they run out of nets, I don't think anyone has any nets left. Now this idiot's got a net. So yeah, you get rid of the nets, and then you get rid of the shamans, and you have no more roots. Wolf riders are being annoying. Yeah. So he's probably fucked. Actually, I do kind of want him to get hit. I don't want to, I don't like seeing this mammoth get uh, utterly destroyed by three dudes on high ground. But that's the uh, issue. The issue, the other issue, is when you have um, so many dudes. Okay, I kind of like that, actually. The issue is when you have so many dudes with, um... Fucking... Uh... Punctures? These goblins? Is that... Yeah, like, you get hit, and then it's a puncture. So it's just really annoying. Alright, alright. Let's, uh... Let's... We really need to get these kills. Okay. Broke the Overseer. That's fine. I don't like being crossbowed, though. That is not fine. Um, we don't really have a choice. We have to kill that guy. Uh, let's see. Who has a better chance of being killed? The melon fucker could kill that guy. Um... Come on. Not quite, but we're breaking them regardless. Nice. Nice. We definitely just want to break out of these roots now. I'm going to switch over to here. Um, break out of the roots. Break out of the roots. Uh, I'm not actually not worried about, it, uh, about one ambusher in the slightest. He could recover, which is annoying. Um, I'm gonna let him flee. We were supposed to headshot, kill that guy. Didn't happen. Break out of the roots. Um... Do I want to get on the shaman? Normally, I would want to get on the shaman, but then we have... We're, like, low ground getting punctured. We're getting, like, double punctured. Um... Shield wall won't do anything because they're already rolling on fives. And you're not going to kill the shaman. Um, I might just stick here. This might be a problem. I'm, that might have been really dumb. Alright. Kill recover, which is what we've been wanting to do for like four turns now. He is not running. 
Um, I'd like to see him run. I'd also like to get over there. Uh, that's fine. He did recover. That's annoying. Alright, let's uh, recover here. He is done. Nice. Okay. I guess we'll see what happens. I can just run there next turn. Just don't poison me. That's good. He's being attracted. I don't care about that. These, like, soul ambushers don't really matter. We can see the beginning of the, the morale failures. And we can see that we're actually mostly done with being trapped and shit. With two shamans dead and almost all the nets gone. We were pretty lucky here spawning on high ground. Um, I don't know what the fuck that was, dog. So he was here, and then what he did is he, um, he footworked up into zone of control, and then footworked, he went footwork, footwork, and then walked, as opposed to just footworking once and walking and then getting an attack. What are you... What the fuck is this AI? <laughs> um, additional fur padding is really huge here. It doesn't help you against punctures, but it helps you against everything else. Uh, I don't like he... It sucks that he gets another turn. Really helps for these hybrids, who are just getting fucking bullied. Um... Keeping the damn punctures out, I see. Oh, good. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, we're gonna walk next to him, make sure he dies. This guy... <laughs> we're really getting bullied right here. Okay. So we need to kill him. Need to kill him. We don't have a crossbow. We could walk here. You're fleeing. Okay. We're gonna kill this guy right here. You're done. Let's hold. I kind of thought he died. He didn't die. You don't have Berserk. But... You can get that kill. You're gonna flee. You're almost out of fucking hit points. Okay. You're gonna go there. You broke out of the roots. That's really lucky. I'm gonna get that kill. Walk up next to here. Um. I think you're gonna recover because you're out. You're out. You're out of that. Mm. You're gonna um Pass your turn so you stay a little bit lower. Okay, some of them are recovering. We're hoping we're gonna get this kill right here. Nice. Nice job, melon fucker. Okay, he ran away. That's not good. Um. That's fine. Rotating. Walking. Didn't get a break. Walk right there. Alright, good. I didn't want to see that. Uh, Necrofucker might die. That is uh, too bad. He doesn't have additional for padding. Alright. <laughs> nice team kill. You guys really doing well. Alright, we're going to need to recover. Then we're going to need to end all on this guy, I think. We could actually walk... Mm, do we want to take those puncture opportunities? Possibly. Need to not lose the necro fucker. Good! Okay, that's really strong, actually. Wait, what? Oh, because I bet you only lose, like, 4 AP, so when you have, like, 12 AP, because you're a fucking, uh... Fucking wolf rider, they won't do anything. Alright, we need to kill those ambushers now. Ambushers are now a problem just because the Necrofucker is almost dead. How much Stam do you have? You have enough Stam. Okay, he, that might force him to run. <laughs> That'll work too. Um...
Alright, that was kind of a problem because I just brought him back. Uh, that might not have been wise. We're gonna recover here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna move over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think we can hit him. If we move down, he might be able to hit us. Um, let's get that kill recover going. Let's pass and see what happens. Not quite what we wanted to see. Let's recover. Probably want to recover here as well. We can get that kill recover as well. Probably should have run next to that idiot. He didn't die. He's back. Okay. Um, we could get right on that overseer right here. That overseer is out. Yeah, that's a problem. That one ambusher. Okay, he didn't kill the necrofucker. I think the necrofucker might be fine. Hmm. We can see this guy is really doing work. Drawing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 goblins. Or I guess he's broken. But like 12, 13 goblins. Um, he's doing a great job. Don't kill the necrofucker. Good. Um, so takeaways from what I... <laughs> You're only supposed to have one poison. Uh, that's interesting. Alright. Alright. Now we can maybe focus on killing that shaman. I don't know what the fuck the shaman's doing. Uh, we're gonna let him run. I'm gonna get right on them both. Just let him run again. That's fine. Uh, we can move up, I guess. Uh, let's pass. In dumb shield wall, just in case. Um, you can't attack Necrofucker now, so we want to kill... Okay. Want to move here. Oh, we kill Recovered. We should have just let him run. You don't get, um, recover on opportunity attack kills. Let's just pass, see what happens. It's really annoying how the wolves aren't broken when you, uh, when you kill them. Yeah. Nice. Alright, that kind of sucks. Nice. Um... Probably should have killed him on here, but I want to chase the shaman if needed. Alright. Alright. Um, I mean, if anything, we could just not quite kill the... Kill him. Oh, fuck. This guy, this guy is now a problem. He's going to kill the necrofucker. No. Oh, oh young necrofucker. Don't die. Oh, man. I I think Necrofucker's dead. We're gonna have to roll on him not dying. Oh, he rolled on someone different. Okay. Thanks, AI. You were taunted. <laughs> like, okay. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna... Kill Recover. Probably should have actually walked up onto that other dude. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Is this the shaman? WYD, bro. WYD. Um, let's just hold. You're not running away from me. Let's see what happens. Uh, let him run. Oh, you really did that, didn't you? Actually, now you just need to get out of the way. Um, let's see what... Okay, he can't attack anymore. Fucking decapped. He's killed. 
Don't like to see that at all. He's fucking back. Alright. Um, you're at decent HP, so you need to move in. Okay, we're missing, we're missing. Um... Probably want to be here for the rotate. Did you recover? Yeah, you did. Alright. It's fine. You can see we're actually armor tanking with these other dudes who just haven't been hit very much right now. So, and again, since we're not fighting immediately after this, we can afford to armor tank all we want. Okay, we really don't like that. We're going to have to... He's going to have to indom, which means he's going to have to rotate. Alright, uh, continue running. We're going to hope the stragglers are going to start running soon. Yeah, he's definitely indoming. I'm I actually didn't know he could insect swarm while in melee range. That's uh, something cool to know. Disarm. Uh, we could maybe hit someone after. Alright, dead. Just walk right up there because I'm a boss. Alright. Nice. Get up and cl get closer. Um. We'll just hold back. We don't need to lose you. Alright, don't... I swear to God, if I die because of the fucking wolf. Okay. Running down. We can uh, see what happens. Absolutely rotating. Absolutely killing. I don't quite care about the wolf. You're running. 15... Um, missed the wolf. That's fucking cool. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can force that AI to run. Oh, uh, wait, they came back. How did they act after? Oh, because they recovered from being. F no, they didn't recover from flame. How the fuck did they act after? That makes no sense. I don't like that. I don't know why I disarmed a guy who has a 5 AP attack. That was silly. <laughs> um, in other news, the recent patch has, um, it nerfed, so it nerfed, uh, Disarm. It also nerfed, or right, this is like a real thread at this point. It nerfed, um, okay, armor tanking, armor tanking, armor tanking. It nerfed, uh, fucking armor attachments so that they cost real AP. Alright, so now you're moving out. You did, you did your tanking. If you can get that kill, that would have been cool. We're going on a 15. Youch. Pass. Because we're indoming. I like seeing that guy die more. You're out of fucking stam. Alright, that's fine. Kill, recover. Okay. Okay. You need to end on again, because you're going to die. Okay. As we walk into more of them, fewer of them can attack. Which is fine. Oh my god, these punctures. These punctures. For real. Alright, um... What else did the patch do? The patch... Nerfed attachments. Nerfed... Whips. Oh my gosh. We're taking a lot of puncture... Puncture RNG right here. Alright, let's go. Yeah, that's fucking right. That's fucking right. Alright. Nope. 
<laughs> Alright, um... We could get right there. Uh, let's see. Can we kill? Yeah, we can. I'd like the melon fucker to not die. Melon fucker. Come on. And, um... You're done. Oh, man. Oh, you need some stam. Uh, I'm going to move you up so you're a little bit behind cover there. Okay. Nine goblins. They should start running. Thank God. Yep, start running, start running. Okay, right, we're down to three goblins. We love getting hit on fives. We love it. We love it so much. Getting hit on fucking fives. Like, Jesus. Thank God. Alright. Um, we should be done. I'm gonna We're going to chase a little bit. Melon fucker, you're like quite bad. I understand you have a broken uh, fucking like arm though. That's it. Alright. <laughs> How many injuries do we take? Who, who got punctured? One, two, three, four. Alright, right. who got injured? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people almost died. Lol. Lol. Um, that was pretty good though. And we, we got the good old Emperor's Countenance. That's nice. All right, that was pretty good. Um, who, okay, so these two um, did good work. The mammoth did a good job. He wasn't that great. He did an amazing job um, blocking attacks. He did an amazing job blocking attacks. He did an amazing job blocking attacks. He got some kills there at the end too. Um, these hybrids, these three did really well. The whip did a little bit of work, but not really. Um, these two were just standard front line. Um, who would I bring instead? I would bring people with higher initiative. If you have a fencer, I would really bring a fencer to this fight, actually. And you can just um, lunge your way to a shaman. That's really useful. I would bring another hybrid. Definitely bring a hybrid over him. Um, probably bring a hybrid over the fucking banner, too. Because you can't really disarm goblins because they all have fucking quick hands. Um... I guess I could have just brought more frontline and then done something with that, but I figured the the disarm would be helpful at some point, which I guess it could it could have been. Um, and he got some decent damage as well. So overall, I'd say that was pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, cool, haha, we win. <laughs> wow. Hope you guys enjoyed that fight. Hope you learned something valuable. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.